Hey Explorers, Kita Explorer here, back for another food video here in Atlanta, Georgia. In today's video, I'm taking you to five different brunch spots in Atlanta because Atlanta loves to brunch. And you'll notice that in each brunch spot, I'm getting chicken and waffles because I love chicken and waffles. So I'm gonna talk about the vibe of the brunch spots as well as how the chicken and waffles taste. And that is what I'm gonna be basing my ranking on at the end of the video. So make sure you stay tuned all the way to the end so you can know how each of these five spots rank based on my experience. So let's go to the first spot. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Before we go, before we go. Again, I'm Kitted Explorer. And here on my channel, I talk about all things travel and sustainability. So if you have not already, make sure you hit the subscribe button and that notification bell so you'll be notified of all of my future videos. And if you're already a subscriber, thank you so much. I truly appreciate it. And if you enjoyed this video, you can leave me a little tip down below by hitting the thanks button. Okay, so now let's get into this video. Welcome to the Atlanta Breakfast Club. I finally made it. I had a day off from work and I was like, hey, I'm going down here because the wait can be forever sometimes. But they did tell me it was gonna be an hour wait and it actually only took 20 minutes for me to get seated. So I got a recommendation from my waiter. I said I wanted chicken and waffles. He was like, wait, you need to try the peach chicken and waffles. And that's what I got and that's what you see here. And it was, oh my gosh, it was heavenly. It was so good and flavorful. Definitely recommend coming here. They do not have alcoholic drinks if you want an alcoholic drink for your brunch. But other than that, the food is incredible. Just be prepared for a wait. And if you want to get here early, they do open at 6.30 and close at 2.30 on the weekends and close at 2.45 on the weekdays. The next spot we're going to is in the Real Village located at 30 North Avenue in Midtown Atlanta. I absolutely love Negro Village. I have been here several times. They serve lunch, dinner, and brunch. They only serve brunch though on Saturday and Sundays from 12 to 4 p.m. Now, if you wanna come here and enjoy a meal, I definitely recommend that you get reservations so you can make sure you have a seat because it can get crowded here. As you see, they do serve alcoholic drinks, so you can get you a mimosa and get the refill that we had, and then you have to get the mac and cheese. They don't even serve mac and cheese as part of a meal because it is so delicious, as you saw. And then I ordered chicken and waffles, but my waffles are pineapple infused. And my friend, she actually had red velvet infused waffles, and we both really enjoyed our chicken and waffles. Now, one thing to know is that the parking can be ridiculous. They have a small lot right outside, right next to the restaurant, but it can get packed quickly. So if you're not able to get a spot there, they do have three different locations of where you can park listed on their website, but always make sure you look to see if it costs where you park and pay for parking because you do not want to get booted in Atlanta. Or you can try parking on the street on West Peachtree Street Northwest. Next up is Toast on Linux located in the Buckhead area of Atlanta. Toast on Linux specializes in brunch and lunch and is only open Wednesday through Sunday from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. But I highly recommend if you come here to make a reservation. I was lucky to come here on a Wednesday. I had the day off from work and get seated immediately at the bar, especially being just one person. It wasn't fully packed, but I have read a lot of reviews that it could be a three hour wait if you do not have a reservation. So definitely make a reservation if you can. As you saw in the earlier clip, I had a mimosa. When I ordered the mimosa with the bartender, she was like, hey, what flavor do you want? I was like, I don't know, surprise me. It was really good. I still don't know the exact flavor of that mimosa, but it was delicious. And here you can see the chicken and waffles. And oh my gosh, the chicken and waffles was incredible. The glaze they put over the waffle, the seasoning they put on the chicken, it was extremely tender, really good. Highly recommend you come here, make a reservation and come here. And also they do have a lot of parking available. It is in a plaza. So there's a lot of free parking available, but if you don't want to search for parking, they do have valet parking, which I believe they do validate the valet parking so you don't have to pay for it. But highly recommend coming to Toast on Linux. On to the fourth spot, which is Miss Icy's Kitchen and Bar located in Decatur, which is a suburb on the east side of Atlanta. I came here to have brunch with one of my friends and she was a few minutes late and they would not allow me to be seated until my entire party arrived. 
So they told me to go to the bar and start off my brunch experience, which I did with this orange blossom mimosa that they made at the bar. Once my friend came, they had to check me out at the bar and then they took me and my friend to our table, which we did make reservations and it was kind of packed in there. So I recommend making reservations. As you can see, I got chicken and waffles, but then the waitress, she did upsell me on the grits, which I got and my friend ordered an appetizer of this skillet cornbread, which was delicious. It had some berries on top and she had oxtails, which she enjoyed as well. I must say the chicken and waffles was really good, but that chicken was huge. There was no way I was finishing that meal. I ended up taking half of it home and I finished it for dinner actually later that day. But it was really good. The parking is free. You may have a problem finding parking. You may have to search a little bit. So allow enough time to search for a spot, but it's not too bad, which is great. And they also had excellent music playing inside of Miss Icy's. And the last place we're going to is South City Kitchen at the location in Vinings, which is a suburb outside of Atlanta on the west side. They also have three other locations, one in Buckhead, one in Midtown, and then another one in Alpharetta, which is a far out suburb of the city. This is the only location in this video where they actually had a physical menu. All other places, it required a QR code. So I was kind of surprised when I saw the physical menu, but I have been to South City Kitchen before, but it was pre-Panorama. And I was always pleased before at both the Vinings and Buckhead locations. As you can see, I have my peach bellini here where I'm waiting for my meal to come out. So I'm just taking it in nice and slow in this intimate spacing. I did have a reservation. So as soon as I walked in, I was able to get seated quickly. Here at the Vinings location, there is free parking, but you may have to walk a little bit to get to the restaurant. And I must say that the waiter was awesome because when he came to ring me up or bring me my bill, he was like, hey, you wanna be a part of our rewards program? I'm like, what is that? So they do have a free rewards pro program where you can earn points at different restaurants within that group. So definitely recommend coming to South City Kitchen. Okay, it is now time to rank these five different brunch spots in Atlanta based on my experience in this video, but I must say it was really hard to do so because they were all really good. So let's get into these rankings and tell me which one you think is my number one down below in the comment box. Drum roll, please. Coming in at number five is Miss Icy's Kitchen and Bar. I really love the music and the vibe inside, but that chicken was too big. Coming in at number four is South City Kitchen because the waffles was nothing special, but the chicken was delicious. Coming in at number three is Negro Village because you cannot go wrong with their chicken and waffles and a side of mac and cheese. Coming in at number two is Atlanta Breakfast Club. Even though they don't serve alcoholic drinks, I'm okay with that because this peach chicken and waffles was everything. And finally, did you guess it? Coming in at number one is Toast on Linux because, oh my gosh, this chicken and waffles was delicious. The glaze, the seasoning of the chicken, the tenderness. It was an excellent experience. So how did you like this video? Would you try any of these brunch spots? And did you guess what my number one brunch spot would be? Leave that down below in the comment box. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit the like button. Please don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell. It's free for you to do so. And it helps me provide more and better content to you in the future. If you're already a subscriber, thank you so much. I truly appreciate it. And make sure you leave any questions about this video down below in the comment box. Make sure you share this video with your friends, family, and social media networks. And then make sure you head on over to purchase you some new merch for your traveling life. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day or night wherever in the world you are. Bye.